I Am Zozo is a psychological thriller about five young people who play with a Ouija board on Halloween and attract the attention of a malevolent demon. The film is based on real experiences with an ancient and malevolent spirit called Zozo that attaches itself to people exclusively through Ouija boards. So written and directed by Scott Delia, Delala, don't know how you say his last name. I Am Zozo was shot entirely on Kodak Super 8mm negative film stock. So the film looks really cool. And that's about it. So let's dive right into the claim that this Zozo demon is real and real people have had real experiences with him. So the movie I Am Zozo is told in flashback via Tess, who is, spoiler alert, but it says it at the very beginning of the movie, the sole survivor of this Halloween night. And she's telling the story to a one Darren Evans, who is playing himself in this movie. So apparently Evans has written a book called The Zozo Phenomenon, and he has a website and everything about like paranormal experiences and there's stuff about Zozo on there. Apparently the guys at Ghost Adventures went to the Zozo house to investigate it, the demon. I would try and find the episode and watch it, but I, I've already mentioned this. I don't really like Ghost Adventures, so no. I can already guess how the episode is gonna go. They're gonna hear some scary noises and just assume that it's demonic and say that Zozo is real. So anyone who has seen that episode, let me know if I'm right. <laughs> At least from what I could tell, I tried to do some research, some light research. I didn't go too deep into it because I have 31 movies I needed to review for this month. So I didn't have time to go that deep into the whole Zozo thing. It seems, it just seems very urban legendy to me, at least right now, like there's not, at least on the surface of my research, there wasn't a whole lot of like hard evidence for Zozo being real doesn't mean that Zozo isn't real. It just seems very like in the realm of like Bloody Mary or something like that. Like <laughs> something that everybody kind of knows about. So maybe in the paranormal world, Zozo is a pretty common entity, um, but there's a lot of stories, it seems like surrounding this Zozo character, so. Yeah, could be real, I don't know. Speaking about like the the rest of the actual movie though, the dialogue is so weird and unnatural and the Ouija board scene goes on for way too long. Like there's a whole lot of Ouija board happening before they even contact Zozo. Like they play Ouija board for like what feels like a whole 30 minutes and then they go and investigate some scary noise and then they come back and play the Ouija board some more all in the same night. <laughs> when finally Zozo appears to them and starts talking through the board. It just goes on for way too long, honestly. And the characters are also just super uninteresting, even our main character Tess. And there's even a Wiccan character also, which, you know, I love, but even she was super uninteresting. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a beautifully shot film. The eight millimeter is super rad. It looks really cool. It's it's just a very big shame about the rest of the movie, honestly. So I give this a 0.5 out of 5. Even the, the cool look of the movie couldn't really save it. On IMDb, it has a 3.4 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, there's no critic consensus, but audiences give it a 36%. And on Letterboxd, it has a 2.3 out of 5. So most people look like liked it marginally better than I did. But of course, as with every movie I review, make up your own mind about it. Uh, <laughs> my word is not gospel, nor is any other film reviewer's word gospel. All right, so if you've already seen I Am Zozo, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. That all rhymed. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Become a creepy peep today. We are like almost halfway through October at this point. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> but there's still like math, 17 more videos to come, which means I'll see you guys tomorrow with another new movie review. So until then, stay strange.
Bye. This video is brought to you by all these lovely creepy patron peeps that you see listed here. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep yourself, you can check out that link in the description. There's a whole bunch of fun links in the description so you can follow me on all my social media, Goodreads, Letterboxd, all that good stuff. So make sure you check out the description box. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye.